from Hooked on Homemade Happiness. Thanks so much for joining me. Today we are going to be making the pretty Harlequin stitch. Um, for this stitch, I really think um, stripes work really well with this stitch. So I like to use more than one color. So I'm using just worsted weight yarn from my stash. These are both Stylecraft Special Erin. Um, and then I'm also using an H 5 millimeter crochet hook. But with this stitch, you can use any size yarn. Um, you'll just have to adjust your ho hook size accordingly. So we're gonna go ahead and get started by getting one of our colors on our hook. So I'm gonna go ahead and start with this cream color. And for this stitch, we will need to chain a multiple of eight plus one. So I'm going to be chaining 33. So 32 is my multiple of eight. So any multiple of eight, um, and then just add one more at the end. So I'm gonna chain 33 for this swatch. Here is my chain 33, my starting chain of eight plus one, multiple of eight plus one. And I'm going to be starting in the fifth chain from my hook. If you have seen my video tutorials before, you know I like to insert my hook into these back humps of my chain. So I'm gonna start in the fifth chain. One, two, three, four, five. This chain right here. And I'm gonna work three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all in this fifth chain from the hook. So I'm gonna yarn over and insert my hook into the fifth chain up from, the, from my hook. And I'm gonna yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two, and yarn over and pull through two. There's my first double crochet. So I need two more for a total of three. So again, in that same chain, I'm gonna put two more double crochet. So there's my three double crochet. Now I'm going to chain one and work three more double crochet in that same chain. So there we have our first three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all in that fifth chain from the hook. So now I'm going to skip three chains so I need to skip three. Be careful because they get kind of tight and makes it kind of hard to see all the chains. So I'm gonna skip three. One, two, three. And in this next one, I'm gonna work a single crochet. And again, I'm going to skip three chains. One, two, three. And in the very next one, I'm going to work the same sequence that I did here three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. So I'm gonna skip three and insert my hook right here, work my double crochet, and then two more for a total of three. Now I'm gonna chain one and work three more in that same space. And again, I'm gonna be kind of repeating the sequence all the way across. So I'm going to skip three, one, two, three, and then single crochet in the next. Now skip three, one, two, three. So we're working in this chain right here and I'm gonna do this same sequence that we did. Three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Here's my three double crochet, chain one, and then three more double crochet, and then three more double crochet in the same space. Skip 
skip three stitches, single crochet in the next, skip three stitches, work your three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. There's my three double crochet, I'm going to chain one, and work three more double crochet in that same space. And here I'm at my last set of stitches. I'm going to skip three and single crochet in my last stitch. And there is row one of our Harlequin stitch. For row two, we're going to chain three and turn our work. And we're going to skip this first single crochet and I'm going to work a double crochet three together over these first three stitches. So I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook into this first stitch. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop yarn over and pull through two. So it's kind of half of one double crochet, an unfinished double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook into the next stitch. And I'll yarn over and pull up a loop. And again, I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. So now I have two unfinished double crochets on my hook. I'm going to do that again right here in this next double crochet. So I'm going to yarn over insert my hook into the next double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. So I have three unfinished double crochets on my hook. Now I'm going to yarn over and pull through all the loops on my hook. So I kind of like to pull it up a little bit so I have a lot of space to pull my hook through and I don't want to get snagged. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops on my hook. Now I'm going to chain seven. Oops. And I'm going to work double crochet six together along these double these three double crochets here and these three double crochets here. When I work this double cro double crochet six together, I'm going to skip the single crochet in the middle. So I'm going to yarn over. Kind of hold on to this chain seven because when you yarn over, it can get mixed up in the stitches and it can be kind of confusing. So kind of make sure that this doesn't get included in your yarn over. And I'm going to insert my hook in this next double crochet. I'm going to yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm going to yarn over and pull through two. I'm going to do that again in the next one. Yarn over, insert my hook in the next double crochet, yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. And then again in the next double crochet, I have three unfinished double crochets on my hook. I'm going to skip over this single crochet and I'm going to again yarn over and insert my hook into the next double crochet. Yarn over and pull up a loop and yarn over and pull through two. And then in the next, pull through two. And then the last one right here, yarn over, insert my hook into this sixth double crochet, yarn over, pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. So now you should have six unfinished double crochet on your hook, and you should have seven loops on your hook. And we're going to yarn over and pull through all of them. And again, I like to kind of pull my hook up create, make it a little bit tight so I have space so that my hook can just slide on through without any snags. Okay, again, I'm going to chain seven. I'm 
and I'm gonna do that same thing again. I'm gonna work double crochet six together along this dip right here. This is kind of where our next circle is going to be. This is the bottom half um, of where the next circles are going to be. And then we're gonna have one right here. So I'm gonna yarn over. Again, hold on to this chain seven because it could easily get yarned over and mixed up um, on your hook. I'm gonna insert my hook into this next double crochet. I'm skipping over these chain spaces right now. So don't worry about that chain space. We're working in this very next double crochet. And yarn over and pull through two. So there's my first one. I'm gonna do that in the next five stitches, just like we did before. Pull through two, there's two double crochet. Oopsies. And there's three unfinished double crochet. I'm gonna skip over this single crochet right here and work in the next double crochet. And again in the next. And right here in my last one. So there I have six unfinished double crochets on my hook and seven loops on my hook. So I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of them. And again, I'm going to chain seven. And I'm going to work double crochet six together across these next six double crochet, just like we did before. So here's my next double crochet. I'm going to skip over this chain space and yarn over and insert my hook right here. And yarn over, pull through two. And again, in the next five stitches. So I'm going to have a total of six unfinished double crochets on my hook and I'll have seven loops total. Here's my last one. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all of those loops on my hook. And then now we're on our last section. So I'm going to, again, chain seven. And I'm just gonna work a double crochet three together like we did at the beginning of our row. So I'll yarn over and insert my hook in that first. Oh, see, I didn't hold on to my chain and look at how it's getting wrapped around. Move that back. Uh, no, I'm gonna start over. All right, there we go. <laughs> Don't forget to hold on to your chain. All right, there's one double crochet. I'm gonna do two more unfinished double crochets. And yarn over and pull through all the loops on the hook. I'm going to end with a double crochet in this turning chain right here in the top of the turning chain from the previous row. So I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in the top of this turning chain and work a double crochet. There is row two for this fun stitch. And for row three, we're going to start the same way. We're going to chain three and turn our work. I'm gonna work three double crochet in this first stitch right here. So I'm gonna yarn over and insert my hook into that first space and work a double crochet. And I'm gonna work two more in that very same space.
Next, you're going to single crochet in this chain space from the row below the previous row. So from row one, where we did those three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, you're gonna single crochet in this space. So it kind of pulls down your chain seven. Let me show you that again. So I'm gonna keep this chain seven right here on top of my, of the previous row. And then I'm gonna insert my hook in this chain space from row one. And I'm gonna work a single crochet. So we're kind of enclosing all of that chain seven from the previous row in your single crochet. Now in the next, you're gonna be working in kind of the eye, I guess, or the center, created from your double crochet six together from the previous row, right here. You're gonna work the chain, the three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet, all in this space. So I'm gonna yarn over, insert my hook right there in this space that I made from the double crochet six together. Yarn over and pull up a loop and work a double crochet. I'm gonna work two more in that same space for a total of three. I'm gonna chain one and three double crochet again in this same space. Now you're gonna, again, single crochet in the chain one space from row one. So I'm gonna keep this chain seven right here, working my hook around it, insert my hook in this chain space, and work a single crochet. Grabbing that chain seven along with it. So we're gonna be working in this next space from the double crochet six together from the previous row right here. I'm gonna work my three double crochet so there's one double crochet, two more in that space for a total of three. I'm gonna chain one and then three double crochet again in that same space. And that's going to be my repeat all the way across for this row three. So again, I'm working over the top of this chain seven. I'm gonna insert my hook into the chain one space from row one and work a single crochet. And then I'm gonna work my three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in this space right here created from those double crochet six together from the previous row. my three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. And then again, I'm gonna work my single crochet in this chain space from the row below. Work my single crochet. And I'm going to end, actually that single crochet is a little bit loose, I don't like it. I'm gonna redo it. Let's try that again. That's better. Okay, and then we're gonna end with our three double crochet at the top on the, from the three double crochet together that we did in the previous row. So I'm gonna insert my hook in the space right here and work my three double crochet. And then I'm gonna end this row with a double crochet in the top of the turning chain from the previous row. So right here is the top of the turning chain from row two. So I'm gonna work a double crochet in the top of that chain. And 
there is row three. And for row four, I'm going to be changing colors. So actually what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go back and undo part of this last double crochet. I'm gonna pull out that final loop. Actually, I'm just gonna undo the whole thing. So I'm gonna redo that last double crochet, but I'm gonna pull through a new color on the last step of that double crochet so I can change colors for the next couple rounds. So I'm gonna yarn over and insert my hook into that turning chain and yarn over and pull up a loop. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through two. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drop this color. I'm just gonna leave it right there because I'll be able to pick it up again later. So I'm not gonna cut it or anything. I'm just gonna leave it right here attached. I'm gonna pick up my new color. I'm gonna pull it through those last loops. And now I'm working with my new color. All right, so for row four, we're gonna chain four and turn our work. I'm gonna skip this first double crochet right here and I'm gonna work a double crochet six together across these first six double crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over and insert my hook into this first double crochet and yarn over and pull up a loop, and yarn over and pull through two. Now I'm gonna do that again in the next one, and I'm gonna continue that for the next, now the next four double crochets for a total of six unfinished double crochets. So here's the third, and I'm gonna skip over this chain space right here and then work in the next double crochet. And then here's the fifth. And here's my sixth. So I have six unfinished double crochets on my hook. And I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all of them. And now I'm going to chain seven. And I'm gonna work um, double crochet six together again over these next six double crochets. So I'm gonna yarn over, remember to hold on to that chain, insert my hook into the next double crochet, and work your unfinished double crochet. And we're skipping over that chain space right there. And now I'm gonna do that in the next five, skipping over this single crochet. Two, three, skip this single crochet, four, five, and six. So I have six unfinished double crochets on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all loops on my hook. And then again, I'm gonna chain seven. I'm gonna skip this chain space and work double crochet six together across the next six double crochets, skipping over that center single crochet. There's my six unfinished double crochets on my hook. I'm gonna yarn over and pull through all of those loops. Chain seven. And double crochet six together across these last six stitches. Oops, didn't yarn over, <laughs> there we go.
skipping over that single crochet in the center. There's my last three double crochets. I'm going to yarn over and pull through all those loops. And there we have all of our double crochet six together for our row. To end this row, I'm going to chain three and I'm going to single crochet in the top of the turning chain from the previous row. And there we have row four. For row five, I'm going to chain one and turn. I'm going to skip this single crochet and this chain three. I'm going to start in the center of the this double crochet six together from the previous row and I'm going to work that sequence from before three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in this space right here. I'm going to yarn over and insert my hook in this space and work my three double crochets I'm going to chain one and three more double crochets in that same space. And then now I'm going to work my single crochet in this chain one space from the row below the previous row. So I'm going to work it um, across over the top of this chain seven. I'm going to insert my hook in that chain space and work a single crochet. Now again, in this space right here, I'm going to do my three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. Jeez. There's my three double crochet, chain one, and then three double crochet in the same space. single crochet in this chain space from the row below the previous row. Three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet in this next space from the double crochet six together from our previous row. Chain one, three more double crochet. And then we're going to single crochet in this space from the row below our previous row. And then here is our last space from our double crochet six together from the previous row. I'm going to repeat that same sequence. Three double crochet, chain one, three double crochet. my three double crochet, chain one, and three double crochet. And then I'm going to end this row with a single crochet. I'm going to work it in the first of the turning chains from the previous row. So all the way over here, not the top of my turning chain, but the very first chain. And there you have the Harlequin stitch. You're just going to repeat rows two through five. Continue repeating those rows until this is the length that you want, depending on the project that you're making. Now here we are back to where we have our first color. So I'm actually going to change colors to continue my project. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to undo this single crochet here. I'm going to insert my hook into that same place and pull up my loop. And I'm going to drop my second color. And then I'm going to pick up my first color. And I'm going to pull it through those loops. So now I'm working with my first color. Again, I'm going to tighten this up a bit. There we go. There we go. So now I'm ready to continue with my first 
color. So for this pattern, you'll just repeat rows two through five until it is the length, the length that you are looking for. Here I have another repeat of rows two and then a repeat of row three. At this point, if I wanted to pull through another the the color I used before or a brand new color, either way, um, now will be the time to pull it through the last step of that last double crochet of your row. You just like to change the colors every two rows so that you have um, matching double crochet six together and then the three double crochet chain one three double crochet is matching so you get these circle type diamond kind of look with your stitch i'm going to go ahead and do just one more row i'm going to end on a row four repeat so that i have a straight edge across the top i'm going to keep with my cream color and go ahead and fasten off this pink but if you wanted to um, continue switching colors every two rows i wouldn't fasten it off at all i would just continue to carry it up so you have less ends to weave in which is always always a good thing so i'm going to do one more row i'm going to end with a row four repeat so here you have the pretty Harlequin stitch. I love the pretty diamond look that it gives and it's so pretty, especially when you change colors with this pattern, but it's also just as beautiful when you use a solid color. Um, I ended on a row four repeat so that I got this straight edge across the top. Um, you, can use, you can end in a row four or a row two, either way would work fine as long as you have this straight edge across the top. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you love this stitch. Please leave a comment. Let me know what kind of project you would use a stitch on. I think it'd be gorgeous for a top, a scarf, a blanket, really anything. And it works up so fast and it's much easier than it looks.